Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of BNN Reviews. Today's movie is Under the Skin, a 2013 sci-fi drama movie featuring Scarlett Johansson. It has an 85% on Rotten Tomatoes, so I'm going to go watch the movie, and then I'll be back with my synopsis, trivia, rating, and movie clues for tomorrow. So for my synopsis of Under the Skin, this movie's all about Scarlett Johansson's character, and no one in this movie actually has a name, per se. So they prefer to Scarlett Johansson as the woman. And she's actually an extraterrestrial, and basically the movie is mostly spent about her luring men into her van, and then she takes them into, like, sort of like an other realm, and she kills them. It's kind of a hard movie to understand. It's a very filmy film, which is what I like to call a movie that really appeases to critics and not the general audience, and I really think that felt fit well for this movie. One of the trivia facts that I learned was that all the men who were lured into her van were actually not paid actors, and they were just totally unsuspecting men. I'm not sure how ethical that is, but obviously I guess they agreed to it after the fact and they were told that they were being a part of a movie. Another fun fact that I learned was that Adam Pearson, who's one of the men lured into the car, was hit by a car the day before he was supposed to audition, and the director actually went to the hospital to audition him for the movie, for which he was then accepted immediately. And the last fun fact I learned was that Scarlett Johansson was ranked number one on Mr. Skin's greatest nude scenes in movie history at one point during his illustrious nude scene film ranking system. My rating for Under the Skin is a 2 out of 5 stars. I don't agree with the tomato meter on Rotten Tomatoes saying that this is an 85 and I agree more with the audience score. I don't think this movie is as great as I thought it was going to be. I really dislike the ending and I don't know. It, like I said, it was a very filmy film, and I think that's why it has a high Rotten Tomatoes score from the critics, because they really enjoyed it, but being someone who's more on a casual audience side, I really dislike this movie, and that's why I'm giving it a 2 out of 5 stars. So without further ado, it's time for movie clues. The next 7 reviews, or the next week of movies, are all top 75 movies on IMDb, so keep that in mind when you're thinking about your potential guesses. So this movie is a 2012 Western drama film starring Leonardo DiCaprio, among many other famous actors. So I'll give you a few seconds to think about that. I want to thank you for watching this review. I hope you're enjoying this series during quarantine. And feel free to join me for one of my movies if you see this video. I hope you have a great day. And without further ado, here's the movie.